हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी वील लर्न रिगार्डिंग लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द टर्मिनोलॉजी इन प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव सीन वी हैव लर्न रिगार्डिंग पोजिशंस ऑफ द बॉडी प्लेन्स ऑफ द बॉडी एनाटोमिकल टर्म्स टर्म यूज टू डिस्क्राइब द जॉइंट मोमेंट्स फ्लैक्शन एक्सटेंशन एट्सेट्रा देन टर्म यूज टू डिस्क्राइब पॉनी फीचर्स टर्म रिलेटेड विथ ब्लड वेसल्स ब्लड वेसल्स नर्वस लिम्फ नोड्स मसल फेशिया एट्सेट्रा टूडे वी विल वी विल लर्न रिगार्डिंग टर्म यूज टू डिस्क्राइब इन क्लिनिकल एनाटॉमी ओके इट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द टर्मिनोलॉजी बिकॉज इट विल बी इट विल बी यूजफुल फॉर लाइफ लॉन्ग इन प्रैक्टिस एज वेल एज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ईयर टू लास्ट ईयर एज वेल एज इन पी जी एट्सेट्रा ओके टर्म यूज इन क्लिनिकल एनाटोमी द सफिक्स आईटिस मीन्स इन्फ्लामेशन एग्जाम्पल एपेंडिसाइटिस टॉन्सिलाइटिस आर्थराइटिस न्यूराइटिस एट्सेट्रा इन शॉर्ट वेर एवर द आईटिस द सफिक्स आईटिस कम्स you have to understand that there will be inflammation okay the suffix ectomy means removal from the body appendectomy tonsillectomy gastrectomy nephrectomy etc the uh, ectomy means removal from the body okay appendectomy means removing of appendix from the body now suffix otomy suffix otomy means to open then close the whole organ example laparotomy hysterotomy cystotomy cystolithotomy okay uh, laparotomy abdominal surgery hysterotomy uterus okay hystero body is used for uterus okay in short otomy means to open and close the whole organ now the suffix ostomy means to open whole organ and leave it open example cystostomy colostomy tracheostomy in this diagram you can see colostomy cystostomy as well as in this diagram you can see tracheostomy uh, its definition is open and leave it open okay ostomy means to open hollow organ and leave it open why we have to do in a, suppose example tracheostomy uh, it uh, it is in the indication of upper airway uh, blockage it may be due to cancer etc okay so in this condition we have to do um, open it and leave it open so Oh, uh, the uh, there will be word use. Uh, there will uh, there will be we will use word like tracheostomy. Okay, ostomy. The suffix oma means tumor, lipoma, osteoma, neurofibroma, hemangioma, carcinoma, etc. Puberty. the age at which the secondary sexual character develop being 12 to 15 years in girls and 13 to 16 years in boys now signs and symptoms okay these are important uh, it can be asked ask in viva what is sign and what is symptoms okay in patho uh, symptoms are the subjective complaints of the patient about his disease various signs which we can see on the patient like signs are physical signs are objective findings doctors on the patient like on uh, joint is we can see paler face eyes nails okay these are the signs diagnosis identification identification of disease or determination of the nature of a disease okay diagnosis prognosis 
forecasting the probable course and ultimate outcome of disease whether it will be cure or not okay or how much it will take time pyrexia fever lesion injury or a circums uh, circumscribe pathological changes in the tissue okay inflammation is a local reaction to the tissue of the tissue to an injury or an abnormal stimulation caused by physical chemical or biological agent it is characterized by swelling pain redness warmth of heat and loss of function okay inflammation edema swelling due to uh, accumulation of fluid in extracellular space pedal edema in uh, during pregnancy thrombosis intravascular coagulation or solidification of blood and embolism occlusion of vessels by detach and circulating thrombus let uh, let me explain on this diagram first diagram shows the solidification of the or coagulation of blood that is thrombosis in this second diagram of lung there is occlusion of the blood vessel due to detach um, uh, thrombus okay it is termed as embolism hemorrhage bleeding which may be external or internal ulcer a localized breach gap erosion in the surface continuity of the skin or mucous membrane sinus a blind track lined by epithelium fistula a track open at both hands and lined by epithelium first a diagram shows the sinus b diagram shows the fistula open at both hand okay now necrosis local death of tissue or organ due to irre irreversible damage to the nucleus De uh, degeneration a retrogressive change causing deterioration in the structural and functional qualities it is reversible process but may end in necrosis now gangrene a form of a form of necrosis combined with putrefaction here i have done it with red mark so necrosis and gangrene will be different in gangrene there will be putrefaction also associated infraction death necrosis of uh, tissue due to sudden obstruction of its artery uh, artery of supply often an end artery suppose uh, example mi myocardial infraction in in it uh, there will be often or sudden uh, sudden obstruction of its artery and its supply so it will cause a myocardial infraction in heart atrophy diminution in the size of cells tissue organ or a part of part due to loss of its nutrition now what is dystrophy atrophy diminution in size of cell tissue organ or part due to loss of it due to loss of its nutrition whereas in dystrophy due to defective nutrition okay the difference you have to remember muscular dystrophy is the name given to a group of disease which cause progressive weakness in the muscle due to genetic defect now whereas whereas muscular atrophy describes another group of disease which causes which a cause a progressive degeneration of spinal nerves and wasting of the muscle that they control okay this is the diagram of gangrene hypertrophy increase in si size without again i have read uh, done it with red uh, mark increase in size without any increase in the number of cells 
whereas hyperplasia increase in size due to increase in number of cells now hypoplasia incomplete development oplasia failure of development syndrome that you know a group of diverse uh, symptoms and signs con uh, considering together the picture of disease paralysis loss of motor power of a part of body due to innervation of primary disease of the muscles hemiplegia its name suggests paralysis of the one half of the body para okay para paralysis paraplegia paralysis of both of the lower limbs mono one paralysis of any one of limb quadri quadri four paralysis of all four limbs now anesthesia loss of touch sensibility okay loss of touch sensibility analgesia loss of pain sensibility okay uh, anesthesia okay means touch uh, loss of touch sensi uh, sensibility analgesic analgesic drug okay that we uh, uh, that we hear is to loss of pain sensibility thermal anesthesia loss of temperature sensibility okay in anesthesia touch analgesia pain thermal anesthesia temperature hyperesthesia abnormally increase sensibility paraesthesia perverted feeling of uh, sensation it means uh, different from uh, abnormal uh, sensation in short coma deep unconsciousness tumor neoplasm a circumscribed non inflammatory abnormal growth arising from a body tissue benign benign tumor malignant tumor that we heard here used to mild illness or growth which does not endanger life okay malignant severe form of illness or growth which is resistant to treatment and ends in death okay in short benign it does not endanger the life and malignant it is severe so it may it cause ends in the death carcinoma malignant growth arising from the epithelium ectoderm or endoderm sarcoma malignant growth arising from connective tissue okay mesoderm cancer a general term used to indicate any malignant neoplasm which shows invasiveness and results in death of patient metastasis spread of local disease like cancer cells to uh, distant parts of the body uh, in the, uh, generally we see that uh, we hear that uh, uh, this uh, this cancer was spread up to lungs or abdomen stomach etc okay in short metastasis means spread of local disease convalescence the recovery period period between the end of a disease and restoration to complete health therapy medical treatment okay thank you